Have you ever wondered why there is a sudden increase in the heat and cold by the past few years? Ever thought why there are more floods in different parts of the world? What are the reasons for the insects outbreak? Confused? I was also confused when I thought about these questions and how the weather has been weird. I first heard about this issue because it was trending. I blindly reposted climate change protests on social media without even realizing what it was about. My teacher suggested that I do some research, so I looked up a few videos and podcasts in the hopes to get the project over with. But what I saw was horrifying. Forests being burned down, heavy smog covering cities, and land ice slowly melting away. That was the time when I realized that the actual cause of these disastrous changes was climate change. I just imagine how worse the conditions will be after five to 10 years. I know that this is happening right now. I just chose to ignore the outcome because the fact is some of us are privileged. It doesn't feel like we're being threatened. But as I speak, irreversible damage is being done to the planet right now. I'm glad that attention is being brought onto global warming. But if we only protest blindly and don't actually know how to take action, it is useless. Youth are the key to change. We have the most time and potential. So let's educate ourselves. And only then we will have the time, knowledge, and power of what actions we must take. This is what I did. And this is what we all, the future generation, must do. Let's start by reading, watching videos, and listening to podcasts on global warming and why this is such a pressing issue. You won't have to look too hard. The library and internet is full of this information. A website I strongly recommend is the official NASA climate website. It only takes a few hours of opening up your minds on why nature is behaving this way. This is science. It has been proven, it is studied, and it is forecasted. And the forecast looks really bad. Now that you know we're vulnerable and changes need to be made, go to an organization supporting the cause of climate change. Make a small donation, $2, $3, the price for a cup of coffee or a bag of chips. Not only are you providing support for slowing global warming, your diet just got a little bit healthier from that bag of chips you just saved and the plastic that is used to make the coffee lid. So next time when you're craving snacks, just donate some money for a good cause. Three birds with one stone. I see this as an absolute win. Some organizations you can donate to are the Davis Suzuki Foundation, 350.org, Alliance for Climate Education, Climate Reality Project, and the list goes on. Finally, when you feel ready, and this is the most important, spread the message, educate others, and try to let them know why this is such a pressing issue. I am just one person, but when my family is involved, there are four of us. When my whole class is involved, there are 16 of us. The bigger the army, the better the chances we have of winning. At our home, we replaced our backyard lights with solar powered ones. We changed all our bulbs to LED lights. And we even have our own little indoor greenhouse where we grow small tree saplings. Building good habits, such as reducing electricity usage and reusing resources is vital. But educating yourself on the right mindset comes before the action. I 
have become a climate change activist. I'm no longer a bystander on the sidelines. I am involved, front and center. At the time of planning the speech, the forest fire in Washington State had its smoke flown 328 miles, all the way to Vancouver. The visibility was only a couple yards. This can't be what the future looks like. This shouldn't be what the future looks like. So educate yourself and take action. I finished the prompt given by my art teacher. This is what I drew. We humans created this crisis and we are the only ones who can change it. I would like to leave you with a few words from David Suzuki, a re-owned Canadian environmentalist. Change is never easy, and it often creates discord. But when people come together for the good of humanity and the earth, we can accomplish great things. Thank you. Mm -hmm.